This is Jonah, and he's overboard. A few minutes ago, he was up here with these guys, but they threw him into the sea. To understand why, let's back up. Jonah was a prophet. He got messages from God and delivered them to people. God will restore our land. Everything was fine until God gave him this message. Dear Nineveh, in 40 days you will be destroyed. Jonah didn't like the message, and he really didn't like Nineveh. So he did what any of us might do when confronted with the clear, unchanging will of an all-powerful God. He ran. He ran in the opposite direction of Nineveh. And he didn't stop at the sea, he kept going on this boat with these guys. Until they realized that Jonah was the cause of this horrible storm that tossed their ship and they tossed him overboard. That's when Jonah met the very big fish. Fish stomachs are strange places, but they get you thinking about life. And Jonah realized he'd made a mess of his. He decided that God's way is the best way, no matter what. And he got the chance to prove it. Jonah arrived in Nineveh, a foreign city filled with godless people. He knew his mission. He held his message. All that remained was a choice. Speak or run. Forty days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed! With those words, Jonah went overboard again. Not like a fool being tossed to the sea, but like a man diving headfirst into destiny. And something wonderful happened. People were saved. A triumph of mercy set into motion by one man, armed with eight words and the decision to stop running and start talking. That is the story of Jonah and the really big fish. That's gonna leave a stink. Mm.